Oh, 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 man. Maximum chocolate, please. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> mate. You know that I love chocolate, mate. Maximum chocolate. <laughs> Dear Ben, my name is Simon, 29 years old. I'm from Belgium. Oh, Belgium chocolates, mate. Why I admire you so much as a truly great person. Let me tell you a little story. Last summer, I was at my lowest point of my life. I wasn't good at my job. My heart was broken. I was betrayed. Sometimes I watch paranormal every night before I go to sleep because I'm a believer in spirits because of what happened to me twice already. When I came across your videos, I couldn't let go of you. I love what you do f for subs. You know how to bring entertainment. That's what she said. You watch the videos we do. You laugh we do. You do jump scares we do. I discover that you are a wonderful, brilliant, kind sociable person every evening when i watch your videos it makes me forget what happened to me last summer i now i really feel better i don't like bad people i'm not afraid to rambo them thank you for making me feel so much better and keep doing what you're doing hey simon mate hey mate simon thank you so much man what a nice message look at you rambo in life f what happened to you back beforehand mate f that huh you get to have that, man. It's about now, today, this moment. And at this moment, I'm going to have some chocolate, mate. <laughs> mate, that is... Mate, maximum colours. Look at the colour blending. Doodle shades. Oh, wow. Wow, look at that. Oh, and the Spider-Man of Venom. Nice, man. Ooh. Maximum artist, please. Well done, mate. Guys, thank you so much for sending me this stuff, man. It's so nice of you. I can't, can't get over it. Oh, mate. Christmas vacation. National Lampoon's Christmas vacation. Moose mug ice tray. <laughs> yes, mate. Oh, man. Do you know what? I was watching this film the day before yesterday. And I had to stop it because we all had to go to bed because <laughs> it was getting late. But I'm going to carry on watching it, man. I love National Lampoon. Oh, the playing cards. Yes. National Lampoon playing cards, mate. Oh, banging. Oh, man. I want the, 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 the hockey, the hockey sh the shirt, you know? That's what I want, man. That'd be so damn good. I want a proper National Lampoon's Christmas jumper. That's what I want. That'd be epic. But this, man... Mate, you lot are so damn nice. Merry Christmas. I bet. Merry Christmas. My sister Meadow sent you uh, the Rambo figure with the b bazooka last year. So I wanted to send you a present this year. So you said... Uh, so uh, this year you said you love this movie. So Christmas... So Merry Christmas. Danica. Love Danica. Danica, I absolutely adore this film absolutely adore this film you can love it man this is it bloody hell mate we're about to react to ghost theory right the video that we're reacting to They they got 615,000 views on that one. Hey, nice one. Well done, man. Well done. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Casper's Eye. How the devil are you, mate? I'm epic because I've just had some chocolate and I'm buzzing now. But today we're looking at Ghost Siri. And this one is called We Left Cameras Alone in a Haunted House. What we found is terrifying. Ooh, okay. Make sure you go to Ghost Siri's channel. Subscribe. And do the thing, okay? And while you're subscribing, please double check to see if you're subscribed to my channel. Casper site. Thank you so much. Okay, we're going straight into it, mate. Without further ado, die diddly day. Let's do this. Shh. Go on, go, Siri. Chocolate, 
chocolate. We're going to leave cameras all throughout the house. Uh huh. And we're gonna leave. Yeah. Okay. We've been all sorts since we've been here. Okay, that's an easy bloody video, isn't it? Throw some cameras in there, just leave. That's fine. Hang on. Look at the camera. Camper. What? Cadbury's? Hello and welcome to another episode of Ghost Theory. Oh, we have come to an amazing time capsule location. We have been here a while waiting for it to get dark, um, listening out for some sounds, getting some cinematics and setting up some equipment. First of all, as ever, let's have a look around. This place literally has everything left behind it. The guy who lived here, I think must have died a couple of years ago, possibly even in this house. We don't know for 100% fact, but um, all the stuff is still here as if they still live here. But he certainly doesn't, which um, we'll be able to show why when we get to the other side of the house. Okay. Um, first things first, there is power. Mm. Um, it's just the most ridiculous thing, isn't it, when you find yeah. an abandoned house. Who's paying for the power? Yeah. This was kind of, this is a funny room because it looks like it was a kid's room, but also it has got an old man's hat on there. But it's almost like this is stuff from his childhood. Benjamin Button, he <laughs> was old but young. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like to find out his name was Benjamin as well. Oh, yeah. Um, I mean, tax disc from a car from 2008. But it's like I say, it's got like kind of old children's toys. I and mean, this is actually a remote control tank. Oh, that'd be amazing if that still worked. And what year is that from? They actually made it wow. out of metal as well. Wow. wow. I mean, that shows how old that is. <laughs> mm. um, these books look like they've been set up for urban exploring, but. Um, in here, or is that the lid for that? Yeah, this is not an abandoned house without a singer sewing machine, is it? No, that's worth a lot of money. That singer sewing machine, mate, as well as that tank, to be fair. We get them in so many. Cover that up. Um, there's some stuff over there as well. Maybe they're not there. Lots of, there's <laughs> lots of baby pictures, mm. like old baby pictures, as in like okay, a concord pictures are of babies that are now old pictures, not old babies. Benjamin Button oh, comes to mind. <laughs> it's definitely Benjamin Button here. I'm going to turn this off. If we go into here, this is a creepy ass corridor connecting all the rooms. It is a bungalow. Um, you can see that there are a shitload of cobwebs and all the wallpaper is peeling. So this has not been sort of looked after for a very long time. Hmm. I haven't looked at the bathroom. Well, we got told off in the last episode for looking in the bathroom, so. Okay, well, there's there's the bathroom. I won't show you the toilet. I'm gonna show it anyway. Just to protest. Look, I'm gonna get all three cameras on it. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> <laughs> oh. oh, wow. That is creepy. I mean, clearly... Are those curtains brick wall? They've got brick wall curtains. That's good. That's a good idea. The main bedroom before the gentleman was moved into the living room for care. Yeah. Um, oh, look. I mean, old trunks. You've got these pictures as well. They, uh, and they, they actually seem very religious, and, and that one especially. I wonder if there's one behind it that... Yeah, okay. So I, w I wonder if they were religious. More likely. Yep. What's, what's, what's that noise? Other than the like the M42 out there. I, I think I'm sure I just heard a whisper. Did we hear whisper? And uh, not Cadbury's whisper. Just... Oh, bollocks. That. Can you hear that? She sounds like someone's in that room. Kick it down. What the hell? I mean, there isn't. Yeah. Should we just look in here now? We're in here. Mm. And again, more signs of 
an older person living here. I mean, they didn't even get to put the washing up away. It's just unbelievable. Still got washing. Unbelievable. Washing. Can't believe it. Eh? Absolutely terrible. Leaving the dishes out. They didn't even get time to take the washing out. It's just. I think insane. if you're about to yeah. die, you're not. You're not going to care about the bloody Some washing, mate. In the bowl. It actually looks like they were about to make a cup of tea, and something happened. <clears throat> well, they got like the tea and the coffee, or whatever, out. Yeah. Spoon inside here, but nothing inside it. Mm. The sugar's open and everything. It literally is as if someone's That's just creepy. Started yeah. to make a cup of tea, and then that was it. Felt bad and. Maximum investigation. What an absolutely amazing place. Oh, wow, look at all these photos, too. So we've actually figured that this guy would have been a farmer. They actually had their own business. Yeah. Um, it was his name, surname, which we won't say, and sons. <coughs> yeah. So, um, but these are actually pictures of the house, look. I presume these are their old cars and tractors and things. That's amazing. Oh my word. Look at that. That's him stood here. Oh man, that's. Uh, that, that, I, I don't know whether it's just me, but that looks creepy as shit. Wow. Just where I can hear the noise as well. Oh. Look at this. Oh yeah. It is the guy. The house has barely changed. It hasn't, has it? Isn't that just an amazing th image? Mm. Yeah, it is, mate. That's no, creepy, um, to be fair. That's we're weird. About to go in, I think actually has the Polaroid camera. Part of my um, picture. That these were taken with. Wow. I think it's in there. Oh, yeah. Right there, set up on the table. Wow, that is old school, man. I wonder if it still works. <laughs> Again, more more photos of of them at the property as well. They cared a lot for this place. Now, main living room. So the reason why everything was left out on the tables and things like that, he said that it's because of the um, the other urban explorers going in there, maybe finding evidence and then just laying it out for other people to come along and see, right? Is that is that what they're saying? Um, and I've got a feeling that that was definitely the deathbed. Oh. I don't... I, you can't tell. It's just a feeling. But it's set up the way, you know... Oh. We obviously can never know for sure if someone actually died here. Um, Hang on, he was making a cup of tea, wasn't he? It might have been a case of that something happened and they were rushed off to hospital really fast. Yeah. They might not have actually been here, but the fact that everything is still left like this makes you think that there wasn't a family. Mm. So the only people that would have been caring here would have been carers, but he, we might find something here actually which has to do with the carers yeah and it might be the fact that he we might find that he refused care and all sorts of things yeah and maybe didn't want people here and he might have wanted to die here alone a lot of people do yeah some people just it might have been that his wife also died here yeah and wanted to die yeah. in the same house it's a, I, I think i would want to if i was if i was old and gray i would i would just want to die in my house you know i i would i'd just be like just i don't i can't be asked to go to hospital mate just let me just go here now right with all my memories and my own bed, right? That's what. That's how I would like to go. Brutal subject, but it is just how it happens, isn't it? Do you think that they were his children or potentially his wife? Or something? I I don't know because obviously I think that that's definitely newer. The way the photo is developed, I think that could have been his wife. It could be a wife and child, and that's why they're like this. But then, yeah. if they had a child, then why is this house like this? Well, there's a picture over there that I've witnessed, that I've seen of someone graduating. That could be one of the sons. Well, because... there's another child here. Yeah. Maximum investigation, please! Hmm. Oh, here, they were married. Or at least together. 50, 50 years, years together. Yeah. Wow. I, um... 
University of West England. So I reckon that was one of the kids. Yeah. <clears throat> I don't know. It's, it's interesting. That, that's the same person, that one and this. Yeah. That's this, the child. And that could be the same person that graduated there. They do look quite similar, to actually. Yeah. And then this on their wedding day. Perhaps. Oh, that's the son. Is it? I think that's the son, yeah. yeah. So maybe, well, it's impossible to know. We, let's sort of ask. Yeah, that's We can try and get yeah. questions answered that way. Um, I just want to get a closer look. I up. like the, like, real-time investigation. Not sort of like they've done their investigation and then they do like a, a little B-roll intro. This is so-and-so. He had a son at so-and-so. It's just different. It's good. They're finding out information as they go. I like that. It's raw. It's because I find this, it's harrowing, isn't it? Yeah. It's just in... in... <laughs> you can't explain it, can you? When you walk into a room like this, it's mm. abandoned. I mean, it's just, how is there just the DVA, DVLA stuff just there? <laughs> Do you know what I mean? It's like, they just, with a click of a finger, just disappeared. Mm. Became non-existent. Yeah. Or are they? Well. <laughs> Did they get abducted by aliens? Yes, that's, that's for us the, to find out. That's our question, isn't it? Yeah. So we were we were sat down in the living room for maybe an hour to an hour and a half, just waiting for rush hour to go, waiting for all the traffic to die down. Then we started hearing some noises. We started recording, and then this happened. For the traffic to stop, which it doesn't seem to be, but we've been waiting about an hour now, and we're not really set up, but we we just heard really strange noises. The traffic is just really annoying. Lock the bloody road off, mate. Tell him you're doing an investigation. What are they? What are they hearing? Oh shit! He jumped then, mate. That's what I'm saying. In this channel, man. Their reactions to stuff are so legit, I, I, and things are subtle, but when things happen, mate, it really fucking happens, and you really believe it. Ah. Maximum swallowing, please. That's what she said. <laughs> <coughs> what even the hell makes a sound that loud? I know. Isn't something living? There's definitely not anybody here as well. No, we know there's no one here. And 
no one can come in either. I mean, it was like, oh fuck, I don't like being out here, man. There was like a vibration. It was almost metal sound, you know what I mean? Like, it would, we have been hearing all sorts since we've been here. But then it just started to like ramp up. Mm. Well, maybe it's because you can hear it now. That the traffic's starting to die down. <coughs> Mate, I would be putting a bloody... Some sort of ghost sensor right by that door where he took the photograph. Right? What's it called? I'd be using one of the... Um, REMs. <laughs> Not REMs. <laughs> You know what I mean? Where the fuck did it even come from? Like the first bit sounded like you shut that door. EMF. I promise you I'm not shutting the door. The door was nearly shut. I can't see. Hello? Are you able to make a noise to, to communicate with us? What was that? Look how dodgy it is there, mate. That's dodgy as shit. Can you copy me? Oh yeah. Mate, that was something that moved. That was in the living room, was it not? <laughs> oh, <laughs> I'm actually going to shut this door. So much sound comes through there. Maybe not. This room's fucking creeping me out. Looks <laughs> like he's dressed up as E17. Stay now. Oh, don't leave me alone like this. Don't you say it's the final kiss. Everything has changed. What was the guy's name? Ah, oh, Ronald. His name was Ronald. McDonald! Ron. Or Ron, I think people would have called him. Ron, are you here with us? Oh, after eights. I love after eights. What is that sound? Rata! Sounds like water of some sort. Yeah, that. Mm. Like some sort of cogs. <laughs> Is it now back in there? Hello? We are calling out to the spirit of a man or the woman who used to live here. I'm getting screaming house vibes. Mm, yeah, I know, that gives it's me the, chills. Yeah. If that door now doesn't open. <laughs> <laughs> Screaming uh, house? Why does it smell so different in here now? 
Oh, that's a big sign, mate. Oh, Doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, that's musky. It smells, yeah, it smells like sweat and... Oh. Oh, mate, that's him sweating. That's really odd. It's warm in here. Oh, yeah. mate, yeah, that's probably what's going to be happening because he hasn't been bathed for ages because he's lying in his bed about to die, mate. That's the smell. Like, we've been sat in here for a long time as well, and that did not... Well, one, it hasn't been caused by us, and two, didn't smell like that earlier. Okay. So far, we've been getting some really interesting activity, so we thought that we would try something we haven't done in about 11 years. Right, so this is something we've never done on this channel before. We actually did this about a decade ago when we first started exploring and wow, doing look paranormal at, videos. Who the hell are um, you? Who the F are you, mate, with your maximum hi-fi? Now, a lot of people have also asked us to do this in the recent year or two. Um, we're going to leave cameras all throughout the house and we're going to leave. So we've got one facing this room. We also have another camera facing the kitchen. It's just in the little hatch. We've also got the zoom here, which was Jesus. very popular in our last investigation, actually. People really like that. It's essentially, hopefully, going to pick up any uh, EVPs that are in this room. And this is obviously by the bed that he potentially died in, we don't know. Um, but that's the reason why that's there. There's also another camera in the room where we think the door may have shut. Don't know what caused it, but if it happens again, we may capture it with that camera. And there's also a camera right down the end of the building uh, facing throughout the corridor, but it's all to be able to hear, hopefully, any sounds that happen in this building when we're not here. Yeah. So the idea of this is that our presence may stop any potential activity from happening. If there are spirits there, they might want to just get on with their day. Get on with but their it day. It also stops any noise pollution from us, so we thought it's a really good experiment to do. Okay. What we're going to do now is we're actually going to head outside. Uh, we're going to probably spend about 40 to an hour outside. So, uh, yeah, we're going to leave it all running and um, let's go. Yeah, let's just go get frozen to death outside. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, another thing I wanted to do is we actually just bought this, which is an EMF pump. Makes a slightly irritating sound. How do you turn it on? Well, there we go. An EMF pump is essentially just designed to pump out some electromagnetic frequencies into the air and essentially give the spirits more energy. We always use K2 meters or sometimes use K2 meters and that picks up the electromagnetic frequency which supposedly the spirits can either speak through or that is them as they are that form of energy potentially. So we thought maybe if we use this and put it in, in one of the rooms it can pump out the energy into the room and then the cameras will pick up any activity from the energy that that gives the spirits. Now, one thing to also point out as well is isn't that that's the um, that's the tool that a lot of like um, the debunking people, or not necessarily just the debunking, but it's how you can get a EMF to trigger off right these these pumps. I've heard about them before. I've never seen them before. The K2 meter, it only pumps out energy maybe 30, 40 centimeters away from oh, it. Oh, so oh, okay. So it would never ever affect any of the equipment that we've got in the room or the building at the time. Okay, oh. well, that, <laughs> there's your answer. Okay. I'll leave that in there just in case it was potentially something that moved this door. And then I'll leave that like that so it has the potential to move. And just, you know, even if it's wind. Here we go, mate. This is going to be good. I've got a good feeling about this. Imagine if we saw a shadow bastard. Mate, is it my imagination? Am I hearing shit like groaning? Listen.
No. No way. Tap in. Mate, this right. I I don't know if this has been spotted, but I've seen this, mate. Look at this. Wait, 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 wait. Look, look, look. Wait. I I'm gonna rewind it again so you see. See it? Right, it starts about here. There. Here. I thought it was through the curtains at first. That's making a different sound. Oh my god! So they were talking, you can hear that rumbling of the, them talking outside, but then you heard a, eh, listen! Holy fuck. What does it say? I am starting to get hypothermic now. Should we go oh. It's got to be in over an hour, surely. Yeah. Let's just see what happens. Oh my god. Where is that actually? In there. Or would we just stop everything recording then and just... What we could do is call out now. So you can actually see by these shots that the experiment was pretty successful. We did catch some yeah. amazing stuff. However, it doesn't mean that everything that we caught was paranormal. Some of it could be explained. We also have absolutely no idea if the EMF pump actually made any difference. Thinking back, what we should have done is did an hour with the EMF pump and then an hour without it to see if the activity changes or if any differences in what's happening inside the building. It's just something we can try again in the future. Overall, we seem to pick up on a lot of banging and movements, and you could even hear a voice that came from the living room, which was also picked up on the Zoom. Yeah, that was crazy. Okay. What? Are there any spirits here who wish to communicate with us? It's like a little girl or something. The fridge is on. Oh, that's what the ticking is. Was it on before? It must have been. Could it explain some of the noises, maybe? Hmm. That's what I was thinking. But, um, like, I don't know, the big bang, is that like the mm, fridges? That. Yeah, or ice, maybe it's ice falling. Or... Not bang like yeah, that, mate. It's like an iceberg. Yeah, I was just saying, it's not an iceberg, yeah. <laughs> what was the name? Ron. Ron, are you here? Was there just knocking noises in that room? It was just doom, doom, deeper in here. I'm sure it's certain of it. it wasn't me because it's concrete floor. There's noises. 
starting to get on edge now. If thou go mad. Oh, mate, mate. Hello? Ron, is that you? What's that? Hey! Look! Look, that, that... That was just going straight up then as well. Look! Or is that because of his camera? Sounds like... Look! Oh, the camera's... He's, he's seen the camera. <laughs> Look at the camera. Camera. Oh fuck. It fucking fell. Fuck off. <laughs> you shit it. Run! Is it okay? It's still recording. Yeah. Oh, this is gonna get that raw reaction now. <laughs> right. Okay, let's just show you what that was on. Right, it's, it's not exactly the steadiest thing on earth. Okay, yeah. but that's been in here for an hour. What we heard in the living room, we actually thought was the sound of the camera falling off the door. Obviously we didn't put that together at the time because it was only once we saw it on the floor did we put the sound and that together. But it was actually only during the edit where we realized that the camera had actually fallen off way before and during the time that we were outside. So the camera was quite stable on the handle, but it wasn't the most stable it could have been. So there is a possibility that it did just slide off over time. Believe it or not, we actually had mm. no idea that the camera had fallen off while we're outside. We come in and we actually looked- Yeah, but it's sort of, uh, how did they put the camera on there? Was it not on a tripod? Well, it clearly it wasn't. But the thing is, if it was on the handle, they obviously kept it on the handle, right? If it was on the handle, I think it would just straight away fall off because this thing moved to the right, moved to the right a bit more and then sort of dropped. Down mm. that corridor. But it is a completely pitch black corridor. The camera only has little infrared lights on it. It was, it was actually the bigger light that we have, which is, makes it even more miraculous that we, we didn't see it. But it is literally just these little red dots to us. It, it obviously, unless you're looking through a night vision camera, you can't see any light coming off it at all. It was only once Elliot looked out down to the end of the corridor after we had heard that sound, did he notice that the red lights were on the floor and no longer on the handle. And that's when we kind of put everything together, but we were technically wrong. It didn't happen at that point, it happened before, but even so, the camera falling off is still quite incredible. What was that? I don't know, but it was right to my left. It sounded like the bed moving. But look at that. I mean, it is a, to be fair, it is a pretty dodgy place to hang a camera. <laughs> What's that noise? But the fridge I'm again? Shut this because of the sheer amount of noises coming through there.
Can we hear anything? Do you know, I haven't noticed a car go past for ages. No. It's like the whole time was just like in silence. <laughs> I do Are like this channel. Now? I like this channel. It's very relaxed. They got a good balance. Can you use your voice? Nice stealth like. We would be saying every time. I'm not saying this, people. But I am setting my torch on. Just in case. Because there's some weird noises. But the, the noise of the. Okay, the reason why we're now saying that there might be people who lost latches up to like car doors on the yeah. outside. Oh, fuck! Mate, Jesus. I'd... God, my phone went off. And then that clicking sound, mate, that was loud as F. Scared the shit out of me. Who is that? In this room. There's a spirit with us. We ask you to make contact just while we are here in this house. We've come searching for answers about life after death. Can you touch the black device that we've left on your table? Imagine if that just goes up now, mate. To five. So I really enjoyed this investigation and it's one of my favorites for a long time. A lot of it, is very weird, it can be explained, and I, but I think it's kind of that middle ground type of um, investigation because it's weird, things are happening, can it be explained? We're a bit mixed in the middle because a lot of it can, perhaps a lot of it can't, especially at the beginning when we were startled by very loud noises coming from the kitchen. Mm, I think that in is terms weird. of urban exploring, this has got to be one of the best locations we've done. It's incredibly harrowing, a really upsetting location. There's clearly been lots of misery in that house, but before that was a really nice happy loving home when you look through some of the photos now in terms of paranormal i think the vast majority of the sounds can be explained by the fact that there are potentially rats in the loft i think one of the sounds that we heard when we were in the corridor and i jumped i think that was just a rat in the loft um, uh -huh. and then you've got the sound of the the fridge making lots of noises that fridge has been on for years with no maintenance and i think when you just combine everything together there's a high potential for some of it to be paranormal, but I think actually a lot of it can be explained just through the random appliances. And this is this is why I think these guys deserve so much respect because they're debunking themselves. You know, I, I I think it's great. Living within the house.
totally agree with the 600 and god knows what how many thousand views they just got there mate thank you so much for watching i hope you liked it if you did please check out these other ones okay take care bye bye get the merch at kaspersite.com just rambo it